there, greenie beanies. It's me, Marvy. And this is my friend and National Geographic explorer, Jess. She's a scientist, surfer, diver, and all-around cool person. Hey, everyone. Today, we're in the Cook Islands at a shark sanctuary. A shark sanctuary is a place where sharks can swim freely, meaning they can't get taken from the ocean. <laughs> sharks may look scary, but they're fish that need protection too, right? That's right, Marvy. Sharks can get caught on fishing hooks and in fishing nets. Sometimes they're caught by accident, but sometimes people are trying to catch them. Oh, yikes. Hey, Jess, do you know why people are scared of sharks? I think people are afraid of sharks because they just don't know that much about them. Sharks are really beautiful animals. Take the great white shark, for example. Okay. They're called great white sharks because of their size and their white belly. They're about the size of a minivan. Whoa! The great white shark has a dark back and a light belly, which helps it blend in with the water so it can sneak up on prey. But it's important to remember that they do not set out to eat people. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that is good, Marvy. They like to eat fish, seals, penguins, porpoises, and sea lions. They're one of the largest meat-eating fish in the ocean. That is one big fish. It sure is, but it's actually not the biggest shark. It's not? Nope. The biggest shark is called the whale shark. Whale shark? Wait, is it a whale or a shark? It's a 100% shark. It got its name because it's as big as some whales, and it even eats like some whales, too. <laughs> That's a big shark. The whale shark is the biggest fish in the ocean, able to grow as large as a school bus. Wow. And even though it has thousands of teeth, it is not a dangerous animal. Thousands of teeth? That's a lot of chomping. That's the thing, though. They don't chomp. They eat by opening their huge mouths and letting ocean water come in. And when that water flows back out over their gills, they're able to filter out the tiny plants and animals called plankton. And they eat a lot of plankton. Wow, there are so many beautiful and interesting creatures that live in the ocean. And that's why it's important to keep the oceans clean and protected. Cool. Thanks for telling us all about these sharks, Jess. Well, thank you for visiting me. <laughs> and everyone, be sure to subscribe to Sesame Studios so you can keep hanging out with Marvy and learning new things. <laughs> That's right. Subscribe to Sesame Studios. And you can click here to watch some more videos about sharks and other animals from Nat Geo Kids and Sesame Studios.